The tools and tips I'm about to show you in this video are exactly what helped me revive this video, uh, which stalled out at about 80,000 views. And then I was able to catapult this video to over 800,000, almost a million views here at the end. Um, and you can see here, there's actually another jump in here. I pulled this method twice and it worked both times. So this is something that can take a video that's really just flatlining and just launch it to new heights and get you hundreds of thousands of more views. And of course, depending on your CPM, this could be worth anywhere from several hundred to several thousand dollars if you do it properly. And the best part is this isn't going to take you a lot of time. You take a couple minutes to check YouTube analytics, you make a simple title or a thumbnail change, maybe both, and then you sit back and let the views roll in. So again, this is something that takes only a few minutes and can make a huge difference in your revenue, your views, your subscribers, and more. So the first thing you're gonna do here is go over to YouTube Studio and go to the analytics tab and then hit advanced mode. Now you're gonna keep the content tab selected at the top and then where it says sorting by views by content, we're gonna change that to views by impressions. And the secondary metric we're gonna do is impressions click-through rate. And if you see at the top up here, the default is from the last 28 days and this is what you want to select so you're getting the most recent data of your videos. So basically what this is showing us right here is which of your videos that YouTube is currently pushing out and testing with audiences. And of course, that is the impression number, the number of people who are seeing your video either through uh, browse features as suggested videos, um, or maybe even through search. And then of course, the click-through rate, which you should all know, is how many of the people who see those videos in those impressions actually click on the video and then make it through to watch the video. And of course, that is how the click-through rate is determined. It's a function of the views on the video divided by how many impressions it gets. Now, the reason this is one of the most powerful tools in YouTube analytics is because it shows you which videos have the most potential right now with audiences on YouTube. For example, we have a video here that got 11 million impressions uh, and just under a 9% click-through rate. Now, that click-through rate is nothing to be ashamed of. Actually, that's a pretty solid click-through rate for us. But if we were able to increase that click-through rate just 1%, that would be another 110,000 views for our channel, which would probably be another several hundred or even a thousand dollars. So when we see a video like this in our library, we know it's something that's worth going back and experimenting with, whether that's a title change or a thumbnail change. Now for this particular video right here, we probably won't try a thumbnail or title change uh, because it's got already nearly a 9% click-through rate, which is pretty far above average for our channel. So that's something we don't wanna mess with in this case. But your channel might be different, maybe you have different click-through rate ranges, so you will have to decide what kind of range you wanna play with uh, when it comes to your own analytics. But just a few videos below, we have something with a 4.2% click-through rate and nearly 4 million impressions. Now, obviously, that's quite a few less than 11 million impressions, but with such a low click-through rate of 4%, maybe we could realistically get this up uh, another 2 or 3%, say maybe get it to 6 or 7% click-through rate. And that would also be a pretty significant difference in views if that were to stick after the thumbnail or title update. And that's what I did with this video back here. I saw that it was starting to get impressions again and started to pick up just a little bit, uh, but I knew with a new title or thumbnail, we could launch this thing to new heights. And that's exactly what we did. With a quick thumbnail and title change, uh, it quickly picked back up with traffic. And even then it started to stall off again. And then I picked up the same strategy again. I went back to my analytics, saw that I was still getting a ton of impressions, but the click-through rate was dropping. So changed it up again and got another boost of about 100,000 views, uh, which obviously isn't the greatest results, but that's still a pretty significant result from a quick title update. And again, the reason we have this window selected of the last 28 days in your analytics is so that we know what videos are currently being rotated and you can instantly see uh, an uptick in traffic once you get that click-through rate improved. But that's not to say that you can't benefit from updating older content or using older content to improve your future videos. So the second analytics tool we're gonna look at is in the audience tab, actually. We're gonna go to the videos growing your audience and click see more. And this is going to show you your top performing videos specifically for videos that are growing your audience. Uh, but we're actually going to modify this as well to look at the click-through rate and the impressions. So we're going to go to here and do uh, impressions. It's going to sort by impressions now. And then we're also going to add the impressions click-through rate just so we can have that data point too. So this is looking at all of our videos that have been published since January 14th. So that's in the last four months um, that have been published for at least seven days. Now we're going to change this seven day tab to 28 days because sometimes it does take YouTube a couple of days to find the right audience for your video and start increasing those impressions and delivering it to the right audience. So clicking this 28 day period ensures that the videos that you're looking at are videos that have hopefully found their audience on YouTube. I'm actually going to add the average percentage viewed as well uh, because when that metric is also strong, it can really suggest a great video to focus your efforts on and to reviving with a new title or thumbnail. 
So looking at this list, we can see there's one big difference from the last list, and that's uh, this video at the top that had 11 million impressions. And that's because this video was published on April 4th. Today is April 20th. So this video hasn't been live for 28 days, which is why it's not included in this list here. Um, but that's just fine because we still have plenty of other videos to draw some conclusions from. So this is one of our top performing videos recently about blazing saddles. Um, click through rate only 5.6%, which compared to our other top performing videos, most of them are the seven high 8% range. So seeing this 5.6% makes me think we could improve this video a little bit more. And uh, not to mention it is leading in impressions in this uh, list. So this is one of our best candidates right here um, for boosting some viewership and reviving the video. Uh, not to mention it's got the highest average percentage viewed at over 55%. So this is definitely one I will be playing with to experiment with the title and thumbnail and see how we can improve that click through rate. Uh, while keeping that percentage viewed high and not uh, using any clickbait tactics. And again, just a couple of videos below it, 4.5%, easily the lowest click-through rate on this list, um, but still really solid view-through rate of 52, uh, excuse me, 55% viewed, um, and still pretty solid impressions over 5 million. So uh, again, this video, if we could get this click-through rate to where the other ones were, that'd be an almost doubling of the click-through rate, which could be potentially another several hundred thousand views on the video, um, and it's also got the lowest amount of views, even though it's a top performing video. So uh, this is a really interesting candidate as well for some uh, thumbnail and title revision. So this is another one I'm going to dig into after I finish <laughs> filming this video. But on top of using these data points to figure out how to improve your current videos, you could also look at these and draw conclusions about what will work in the future. So these are topics that have gotten a lot of impressions. They've appealed to a wide audience and they've generated a lot of new viewers for our channel and uh, some of them are turning viewers too. So these are videos that you could look at as kind of tests for how to grow your audience even wider. Obviously most of your videos, your core audience hopefully will be watching and they will appeal to your core audience consistently. But when you want to grow your audience and get more subscribers um, and grow your views too, because you need to reach new people to get new views and, and more views on your videos, these are the kind of topics that you need to look to repeat. These are your success videos that you could either repackage, um, expand on, do sequels to, or find related videos that will hopefully appeal to the same audience. Now, hopefully that was a pretty straightforward tutorial on how to use these analytics tools to find videos that are worth your time to uh, reinvent with the title and thumbnail. But if you don't feel like going through those couple extra steps, there is a tool that makes it a lot easier, and that is using the TubeBuddy YouTube plugin. If you're not familiar with TubeBuddy, it does a lot for channel optimization and kind of convenience. It helps you update descriptions, tags, uh, do a lot of like SEO and keyword research for your videos. So it's a great tool all around to have for any YouTuber. But specifically when it comes to updating videos, it has a tool that takes all of the time and analysis out of the equation. So if you have TubeBuddy installed, you're just gonna click on it up here and go to Click Magnet. Uh, and just as it says, it finds your best videos that could be improved with better click-through rates um, and tells you which ones they are. So after you fire up the click magnet tool, it'll uh, analyze some of your recent videos and then give you a couple different options to look into. Um, but the one we wanna do is CTR opportunities. Again, it says get the most bang for your buck when you focus on improving these videos. And that's exactly the kind of videos that we've looked at um, using the other analytics tools. <coughs> and then it lists them by potential and it gives you a couple of key metrics here. So the first metric it's going to show you is the performance and it gives you a little color coded dot here based on how good it is. And they say performance is a combination of watch time, impressions and view duration. So again, those are some of the most important stats that we looked at in the previous tools ourselves, but this is just compiling that data and then automatically organizing it for you. So you don't have to look at the numbers and figure out which one it is. Um, and of course the second metric is the click through rate. So it's gonna show you the videos that have really good performance, but poor or below average click through rate. And then based on the mismatch between those two, it shows you the potential for getting a boost in views uh, by updating and improving that click-through rate. Because obviously if it's a well-performing video, all you need to do is slap a good thumbnail and title on there to get a good click-through rate, and that video is gonna take off. So this is great because it's a quick one-click tool to just find some videos to mess around with and try some new titles and thumbnails with. The only thing that I don't like as much about this tool that you can do with the analytics stuff is you can control the window of when those videos were published. So again, uh, today is April 20th. A lot of these were posted within like the last 10 days, uh, April 9th there, so maybe the last two weeks. So this doesn't dive too far back into your older content 
um, especially if there's old content that's still getting impressions, uh, that would be picked up in the analytics section, but not with the click magnet tool. So I think it's really helpful to have both to, to have this click through, excuse me, have this click magnet tool, but also to know how to use the analytics yourself and uh, find potential winners in both sections. Um, so for example, this video did not pop up on either of the top lists in the previous analytics tools, um, but judging by its performance and its eh, kind of average click-through rate, this is one I will be messing with as well. So just in the last couple of minutes here, I found two or three videos that have really high potential to increase their viewership just by updating the title or thumbnail. And again, the data points show that you've already created a good video. You don't need to sweat making a whole new video. You've got a perfectly good one already uploaded on the platform that you just need to tweak a little bit and then get those numbers to take off, exactly like we did with this video and uh, many other videos throughout Facts versus History. If you have any questions about this process, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll also leave a link to TubeBuddy if it's new to you. Definitely check it out. And don't forget, we have officially launched our YouTube course called YouTube Automation Made Easy if you're interested in running a fully automated YouTube channel so you can sit back and let the cash roll in uh, while your freelance team and the automation formulas just upload videos for you every day of the week. And we do currently have a deal going on for paid members of the Side Hustle Culture channel. Uh, it's $10 a month to join, but I promise it is well worth the discount you get on the course. Uh, so do check that out if you're interested as well. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.